<laughs> over by the old pole barn here in these trees, putting a bolt through a post here as this board is rotted. All the big pole barn spikes pulled out, so drill the hole through and <laughs> I need an extra spacer for these threads here. That's from the the Massey Idler pulley that I just replaced. I'm like, I need another spacer. Oh wait a minute. I know where I can find one. I gotta remember to keep bearings that uh don't implode that are still holding together. They work great for spacers. Still serving a purpose yet. Now it can stay here. I dropped the pliers down here. I remember I gotta grab the pliers out of there. <laughs> I can barely see it there. Bugger, I have to wait till this melts. I can't get down there. Oh, well, another 11 hour day for me. Got nearly a full house in here. Got uh, two little buds over here. My cows are outside. She calved first today. And that red cow heifer calved. And then we had a first one from the main herd calf. A little bit of a hyper cow, but she was good though. She brought her up to the pole barn, the calf carrier, and and then she dropped a calf then about an hour later. We used the calf cage, brought her all the way up here. Second calver, so we brought her over here. She's because she's been in here before last year, so things are setting down though, it's still sucking yet. He's resting. He's up. I gotta spray it with iodine and spray it. Do that tomorrow when we uh, kick the cows out. Because uh, well, I hold a bunch of water over here. I got 20, 40, 60, 80, close to 100 gallons over here right now. Actually, I'll haul more of that because I actually drink some. But but we're gonna let them out tomorrow though, outside during the blizzard and. So hopefully they can go eat hay and then drink some water out there and then, then come back in again for the night. So That our first calf during the blizzard now. I mean, it's not really that bad out right now. It's tame outside. But it's coming though. It's coming. Good news is that they kind of backed off the snow totals a little bit for our area here. Just a little bit. Kind of. They kind of. Well, they're still saying five to eight inches tonight yet. That's still holding yet. But at least during the day here now, they backed off the totals a little bit. So. Hasn't snowed real heavy at all yet today, which is good. But the wind is coming though. The winds, it, the winds gonna be. We're gonna have. It's gonna be blizzard condition no matter what. We have thirty, still saying thirty mile an hour winds yet sustained. So do the math. It's gonna be ugly. Thursday is gonna. Looks like it's supposed to be lighter winds and sunny then supposedly. So and then warming up. Then it actually looks like there's supposed to be a couple thirties and then it looks like we're gonna go right into the forties next week. Please, they're actually almost saying 50 degrees a week from now, 50 degree day. Sure, I'm all for it. I know people are going to are gonna say, you know, yeah, we're going to have problems with runoff. We're going to have problems with runoff no matter what. <laughs> Let the snow get out of here. Just get out of here. Yeah, I wanted to go out to one of the fields that had oat, oats on it. I just want to look at the stubble where it was thick, thicker stubble. I want to scrape the snow away and then feel the ground, see what it feels like. So, I'm just curious whether I get to that or not, but we'll find out. So, um, yeah, so we might not get two feet of snow here after all. Maybe we'll only get 16 inches here, but kind of got to do the same as we did yesterday. Um, we're only feeding them once right now. What we did last night, we fed them some alfalfa, and then we put oat straw in all the bale feeders then so they have something to chew on overnight and throughout the day here then. We're going to do the same tonight. We're going to give them a bunch of alfalfa unrolled on the ground. They can... Snarf that up first, then overnight then, and tomorrow morning they can chew on the, the oat straw because we were not planning on feeding tomorrow morning because of the wind. It's going to be tough feeding even tomorrow evening too. It's going to be tough because of the wind. It's probably going to have drifts. But it's been kind of weird this year. That sluhe this year came in so handy, having a 
abundance of slough hay again this year. That's what happens when you have a dry, a dry summer and dry fall. You can get a lot of slough hay. Well, that came in handy, and and now this spring, now that I mean, we've kind of been feeding oat straw all winter long. You know, a bale or two every now and then, but um, now it's lately it's been those bale feeders work so good to throw oat straw in they, for something just for chewing. You know, filler. Especially when it's like this size. Probably when it gets a little warmer out, they're probably not going to... Well, when it gets warmer out, we won't have to do that anymore. We can just, you know, feed twice a day what they need. So, and hopefully they just get... We can kick them out of here to the pasture. Then it starts flipping melting. Get everything out of here. Then they can be hunky-dory then out in the pastures. Then uh, wouldn't have cattle worry about. I'd be out sledding. I'd put a crud ton of miles on these sleds. Go out, go out once more if, if I'm not too blasted tired. So I don't know. We'll see once. I like to go out sledding once more. Uh, it's amazing buying this sled in 2013, and it still has less than a thousand miles on it yet. And uh, the most miles I put on in one year was 2013 when I, when I went out to the mountains. Uh, the most miles I put on the sled in one year, I think I put on 200 plus miles on it. Since then, in the last, you know, from 2014 all the way to. Uh, Till now, uh, I think I put on like what 500 miles, maybe four to 500 miles. <laughs> That's bad with all the snow we've had the last four out of five winters. It just don't happen right now. And really, for you know those four to 500 miles I put on my sled too. How many of those miles have been a uh, farm work, farm related work? Probably it's a half. Close to it, probably. Wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't be surprised. The next morning here. I'm so sick and tired of this weather. So sick and tired of it. Got the payloader plugged in and the bobcat. We gotta get them out this morning, late morning here. Just, we gotta move snow. It almost seems like it's gonna be pointless today, but trying to walk through the corrals or the pasture here in places, trying to get through. It's kind of miserable walking. Cow's got no place to lay right now. By the pole barns, full of snow. Don't have to do a great job, just get some of the snow out of the way so it uh, opens things up. Because one of those things, if a calf, cow calves, it's pretty much get them in the barn to a hot box immediately, regardless who it is. It's because they drop in the snow, anything. People that don't know if a calf drops in the snow, they don't have much time. They, they'll they freeze to death. Well, I'm going to go in the house, get something to eat, and I guess get ready to, to have some more fun. It's just been a been a day today. Actually, not too bad where I'm standing. There's no no cows over here. They're all standing up there or on the other side of the wind right there. But most of them. Might feed here tonight. Less less least amount of wind right here. Oh. Hey poopers, yeah, you keys are cooped up too. It's nice in here. It's nice in here. I gotta come inside of a building to talk. It's just stupid wind. So, but yeah, just kind of checking guys got over by the heifers yet. They gotta clean out the calving barn a little bit. Um, I don't think you need to haul any water over there. Just check. Had all the heifers to the east when I was cleaning out. The snow there, so they were all eating and water there. So, um, pretty tough to do anything moving snow. It's pretty tough when it's crazy windy like this, but just have to get stuff cleared so it's easier for us for somebody calves and everything. Just be able to do do a damn thing. Thank God, no calves yet so far today. It's been 24 hours since we had a calf, so um, tonight's supposed to get single digits again. Um, cold and like because of this crazy wind but gonna gradually warm up then so it'll be a little bit nicer out 
got to feed the cows in a couple hours and we're gonna put some shred some cattail bales for bedding so it'll be perfect for this weather out right now by the calving the other barn though we have to wait till tomorrow to put bedding down i gotta clean it out with the bobcat again it's blowing in there again pretty good so i'll have to clean it out before i put bedding down tomorrow so that's the way it is plus i gotta got a massive snow bank in there to move out too so from just from cleaning out today and by the water tank so hope those cows hold off for another 24 hours that'd be fantastic we don't have any calves throughout the night but i'm asking a lot out of those cows i really am <laughs> Finally some relief. Too big of a bite. April 6th today. really hard and compact uh, payloader with a pusher and I've got chains on the back end uh, double studded and it's uh, it's more than it can handle Pushing it out further than the blader did. So where he winged it out, I'm going past that. I'm pushing his wing out and further. This is about the easiest way. I've been working on this road. It's a mile long for the past over an hour. It's the only way we can get out. The other way is, uh, is a lot worse yet. I could do a little bit better if I was using both hands. dirt showing again after well we cleared up pretty much all, all the snow yesterday dad's clearing up out there now we opened up the the approach there so they can cows can go out there now gonna have more easterly winds so just getting ready to feed them uh, some chopped hay here in a little bit but kind of got everything situated and had a cow calf this morning and had a heifer calf a couple hours ago so but still not done moving snow yet. There's, <laughs> we're probably we're still gonna be moving snow yet. So, gotta move a lot of snow out there by the south pastures there to get some, get the yearlings out of here. Hopefully in a couple days. Old cows are in the way, so we'll get the the echo out and uh, move a move our bale barricade here. The bale wall, quite a few oat straw bales there, and we actually had some alfalfa here too, but we used them up right now. But kind of keeping the snow away from the gate here at least, so it seemed like it helped a little bit. But I gotta get some salt blocks, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get those cows fed. Hopefully, we get uh, some snow building this week and go look around, but um. Brother, brother's plan on coming down here, so hope we'll go do a little snowball. He's bringing a snowblower down. 
with the skid steer, so we're gonna he's gonna give that a whirl here in some places, so we'll see how that goes. It might be fun. Got a got a handful of places we, we, we could, you could use it on, so plus I wanna I gotta get the snow moved over by the well. Open that up. I think our pressure tank might be going bad again. Could be. It seems like the pump is kicking in more often than it should. So check that out. So I'll get that open, get it. See what's going on there. Maybe it just needs a little more air pressure built up in it again, or maybe it's going bad. We have to replace it sometime. So I mean, seriously, we're like middle of getting to the middle middle of April, and we still have most of the snow from December yet. It's rough. Everybody, everybody's fed. So, shred two old straw bills and dump some chopped hay on top. So, put down some, uh, that we can finally get to them today. Some raunchy slough bales, aka cattail bales. So, a little bit, just a little light layer over here for now. Something a little bit drier to lay on so we were gonna shred some last night we couldn't get get to them too much snow so we just put down uh couldn't get to the wheat straw so you just have to put down oat straw a couple spots so they they ate some of it and they laid on the rest so it felt kind of like a waste but uh, we can finally get to some of these bills though so i can lay on this stuff cheap bedding works good out here plus they'll probably they'll probably eat some of this too i noticed that the first bale I shred there is, looks, looks like more finer stuff in there. They might actually eat part of that there, which is good. So, fed them about uh, half of the mixer wagon. We'll feed the other half a chopped day tomorrow evening and then just kind of space it out. So, 